Hi, I'm Josh Millsaps, the senior partner of Millsaps Ballinger & Associates, an STBOSB consulting company located in the Washington, D.C. area. All of us at MBNA have a passion for organizational transformation, emerging technology, and personal growth. And with that in mind, we began developing this video series. In each video, I'll sit down with industry thought leaders to get their insight into some of the challenges and opportunities that top executives encounter every day. Today I'm talking with the Honorable Dale Myrits, who is the first President-appointed Senate-confirmed Chief Information Officer and Information Sharing Executive for the U.S. Intelligence Community. With more than three and a half decades of business, military, government, and academic experience, Dale has become an internationally respected subject matter expert on all things from leadership to cybersecurity to information technology. He's been frequently quoted in national, international, and trade publications, and routinely appears on Bloomberg International, CNN, Fox News, and MSNBC. Thanks for being here, Dale. I want to talk some more about organizational transformation. Are there any methods or approaches that you've found helpful in managing change for organizations? What are some of the key processes that you feel need to be in place in order to be successful? There are the do's and the don'ts. Okay, the easiest to talk about is the don'ts, so let me get through that and, and, uh, and, and, and talk, talk about the don'ts. Uh, some of the don'ts are, are, are the element of uh, consistency of the message. When you're going through change, making sure that everybody on the team uh, is on the same sheet of music and understands their roles and is not working across purposes is probably the single biggest detriment uh, to change occurring in organizations. Because if you think about it, uh, there are literally thousands, if not millions, of small little decisions that have to be made across an organization, even a very small organiz organization. And people use values of the organization to independently make those decisions, such as, you know, their own personal workflow, such as, you know, what their interface relationship is with every other person at, at their level, their subordinates, or, or their superiors. You know, and, and, and so when you've got the values of the old organization in which people we're able with, with a great degree of reliability and comfort make those decisions, and now you've taken away the underpinnings on which they base all of those little nuances and all those minute-by-minute, second-by-second decisions. And so the element of, of, uh, of, of message constancy and filling in those gaps of values uh, become uh, some of the biggest, biggest mistakes. The other big mistake I see is, is that when you're transforming it, an organization, you're continually changing the baseline. So, you know, how you start on day one of the change and how you are on day five, day 15, day 30, day 90, day 100, until you get a new operations normal, you're on this maturity curve. And the things that make you successful early in that maturity curve are not the same things that will make you successful later in that maturity curve. So those are the things that I think interfere with transformational efforts and change efforts the most. Let me give you the do, and, and this, this, is, this is a do that, that I developed uh, uh, with, with my first really big challenge in, uh, in organizational transformation. That was when we were standing up U.S. Northern Command. And the phrase has got a catchy phrase to it, but it, it, it's got a lot behind it. Think big, start small, scale fast. And so the idea behind that, and this is good, by the way, whether you're talking about strategic problems, medium-sized problems, or, or very tactical near-term problems. What is the context around which all your activity must, 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 must uh, uh, situate itself in? You know, is, is this a critical piece? Is this a non-critical piece? Is this a strategic piece? Is this a, 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 a mid-level piece? Or, is, you know, where does it fit in? What is the big picture it fits in? So that when you build whatever you're building, whenever you change, whatever you're changing, it fits in the context. It does not provide a mixed message or disruption uh, to what you're doing, but in fact provides a synergistic effect. Starting small means that you go down to the very basic element. And you master that very basic element, whether that is the statement of the problem, whether that, whether that is... Uh, uh, you know, a proposed solution or whatever, you get that very basic and you get it just right, the smallest form. And then you figure out how high or how fast or how far do I need to scale 
what my proposed solution is. And if my solution doesn't scale, then I go back and I pick another start small. Uh, but I never ever lose lose uh, focus on what's the large context, the overall context. Where does this fit in in relationship not only the organization but my teammates, what my responsibilities are, etc. And uh, and and I have I have used that idea of think big, start small, scale fast as a as a very successful way to get that explained to a lot of folks, no matter what. The role you are, whether you're a technician, a manager, a supervisor, a leader, or an executive in an organization. Thanks, Dale. For those of you interested in more on this topic, feel free to check out the post on my blog, Focused on Performance, at joshmillsaps.com. Thanks again, and check back for more videos from MBNA's Executive Series.